All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to World Zombie Nation. Uh, this is a game very similar to the Clash of Clans franchise. Um, I actually got to meet the creators and developers of this game when I uh, visited PAX East in Boston. A uh, really cool group of people, and I figured I would try it out and see if this was something you guys were interested in me playing from time to time. Um, and yeah, so here we are. I've actually played all the tutorial and whatnot, so I figured I will uh, kind of show you guys kind of how things are here. So, all right. Let's get this party started here. So what you do is, is you click on these little purple hands here and then you're allowed to start um, morphing your zombie horde. So for example, I have the big bruiser guys that I put up front. These guys that I'm dropping here are spitters, which are towards the back. These are your more of your ranged uh, style guys here. So let's take a look here and see if we can, let's boost these guys up a little bit. That stuff there is my stem booster. It allows me to boost up my uh, the damage of my horde here. And if anybody does die, I can click on the purple hand and start dragging in some more people here. Let's drop in some more of these big bruiser guys here. We can drop in all of our horde back here as well that we might have lost. Let's drop in some of these guys. And then just like that, we'll drop in some more spitters back here for range. And then bam. Because this mission is called I Left My Brain in San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> and pretty much you have your objectives that you've got to do. So there you guys go. You have to uh, strategically place your horde in certain locations. Very similar to Clash of Clans. You know, where you have to choose your base and all that other stuff. So uh, let's see. Show rewards. What do we got? 270 brains, a delivery man, and another infector. Not too bad, I guess. So day one of three is complete in San Francisco here. Looks like day two. There's a flare factory downtown. Make your way there. So we have to go to the flare factory downtown. That delivery man will make an excellent addition to the team. All right. Tap here to update your team. All right. So let's see. Delivery man. Let's uh, put the delivery man there. Except so we've got two spitters. We've got two brutes. We've got the doctor. We've got an infector and we've got a delivery man. Sounds like a plan to me. Delivery men are explosive. Explosions damage everything. Ooh. Use a delivery man on squads without ranged units. All right, here we go. We're going to drop the whore. Let's do a delivery man right up front. Oh, bam. Just like that. All right, so let's uh, drop the doctor in there. Let's put our ranged guys out back here, just like that. We'll put an infected in there, because what the infected generally do is they raise the dead. So if there's anybody that's dead, see him in the back right here? See, he's going to resurrect those guys for us now. Oh, we got our hordes splitting up here in two different groups. Ooh, we got our hordes splitting up here, guys. Let's put a... Uh, nope, we don't want to put a uh, one of those guys down. Oh, they're beating on it. Hey, they're already there. Sweet. I was getting a little worried that our infected were splitting up too much and we're going to get clear. We're going to get killed. <laughs> All right. So we are good. That delivery man makes me kind of nervous, actually, because it blows everything up. We got 270 more brains and two more spitters. Not too shabby. Um, let's see. So now. Oh, our evolve is ready. Evolving, by the way, is something really cool, too. It allows you to put um, your zombies in these vats. And it allows you to uh, morph them into, uh, you know, evolving into bigger and better monsters like this guy here. We just dropped, jumped him to level two. So it gave him plus 10 team power. Stamina is recharged as well. So so my dom, my doctor Zomba Wits is level two. My Brute is level two. My Spitter is level two. Um, an Infector. Let's go ahead and start evolving my Infector. And for 200 coins, I can buy the middle vat. And then 1,000 coins, you can purchase the third vat. Obviously, that's your uh, in-game purchases. You also have resources. I have my zombie machine here. It's like my little water, my water jug that you can collect your brains. 
And then you also have this other machine here, which is your vials. So it looks like we're collecting 19 per hour for a max of 80, and our brains are 49 per an hour for a max of 400. Here's the current team layout that I'm using. We've got the uh, the two spitters here. We've got the br two brutes. We've got Dr. Zombowitz. We've got an infector and a delivery man. Um, I'm wondering if we shouldn't get rid of that delivery man, though. That guy kind of makes me a little nervous. I think we're going to drop him. We've got two spitters. We've got two tanks. We've got Dr. Zombiewitz, and we've got an infector. Um, Let's see, a runner. What does what does a, a runner do exactly? I'm not exactly sure what a runner does, to be honest with you. But we'll take him. Sure, why not? All right, so, oh, looks like our evolving is already done. Sweet. Our infector is now level two. Stamina recharged on him as well. So let's get another guy um, evolving here. Let's get um, let's get this other brute. Let's get him evolving. All right, sweet. All right, let's head back to the fight. We should be able to head on over to the flare factory now. Perfect. And we'll f we'll start this team. So perfect. We're in San Francisco. We got to get to the flare factory and get that back. Oh, wow. All right. So we've got a group of them. Raid the fireworks factory to uncover the flare. Oh, wow. So we got a sniper, which looks to be right over here. Yeah, we've got like a sniper military guy. And you could choose to be military or zombies in this game, which is kind of cool. So we might be able to start up there and kind of circle around the streets. Those two guys are melee. We got some groups over here we can probably do. And then there's the goal there. So I'm thinking, you know what? Let's just dump everybody right up front here. Just like this. We'll put the doctor up front. We'll drag the brutes. We'll drag the brutes. We'll put the spitters towards the back. Just like this. We'll put our uh, resurrection guy and then the runner in there as well. So we're tearing down the hospital now. There we go. Perfect. So the hospital is down. <gasps> oh my gosh. Taylor is back. All right, let's get rid of that. Taylor is back, guys. For those of you guys uh, following that series, Taylor is back. Oh, we need another brute. Let's get another brute in here. Let's get another brute over here. Oh, let's get our uh, delivery or our runner over there. Oh, we got some more spitters. Let's get a spitter over here. Let's get these spitters uh, dropped in the battle here. Taylor, now is not the time, buddy. I'll get with you momentarily. Ooh, and our stim pack. I guess we really probably don't even need to waste it. They've already got the flare factory under control. Look at that, guys. Like a boss. Ooh, my team took a lot of damage, though. A lot of damage. What are the rewards we got for that one? 270 brains, another runner, and another 270 brains. Not too bad. Obviously, you got... Ooh, what is this? And we got the flare. That's what we were after. No idea what it does, but we got it nonetheless. Research. The flare is now available. Let's research it. Start research. 500 brains. Sweet. So we are researching the, uh, the flare. Not sure what it does. Oh, it attracts your zombies for six seconds. Okay, so that's if we want them to go to a specific location. Looks like our evolve is done as well. Let's go ahead and complete this guy. Okay, sweet. Our brute is now level two. So now we've got a level two doctor, a level two brute, a level two spitter, infector down there, delivery man, some more runners. I'm assuming these guys are probably going to end up dying. Or we're going to end up using up all their stamina or something of the sorts. Let's uh, let's go ahead and start evolving the doctor some more. That'll work just fine. All right, so let's see. Back to the main campaign. Oh, look at that. San Francisco is now complete. Looks like we're heading up to Vancouver. So that's where we're going to wrap this episode up here. Hope you guys enjoyed some World Zombie Nation. If you guys like it, let me know in the comments below. And if you guys want to see more, I figured I'd kind of try out a couple of different games and see if the, you know that's something you like. Like I said, I'm playing uh, Lifeline currently on the iPad. I'm playing um, Zombie Tsunami. I'm playing uh, World Zombination. If you guys are enjoying all these, by all means, let me know in the comments below. 
especially this one. And I'll bring you guys more if you guys like it. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you guys on the flip side.